stop it. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. The rhythmic clapping may trigger a psychotic outburst. <laughs> I've been uh, asked to remind everybody that we'll be uh, working all next week. <laughs> now, there you go. Plan your schedules accordingly. Oh. Uh, we were going away on vacation, but then Dave announced that they'd be doing shows next week, so we said, screw the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Gin and tonic party. I'm really looking forward to this. This is the first. The only reason I'm going is uh, this is the first party I've been invited to in nine years. <laughs> what are you wearing? What I got on. Oh, you're just going. I'm just yeah. going like I don't make any difference because by the time I'm there, They're smashed. Our friend Mr. Beef Eater will have taken over. Uh. Letter number one, dear Dave, did you know that the word letterman means athlete uh, who has earned a letter in the school, in a school sport? Well, sure, letterman, that's what that means. Among any, also could mean a man of letters, you know, uh -huh. academia. Could yeah. be a guy who delivers the letters, letterman, yeah. Ah, they should. Uh, everybody's name uh, means something. We got some guys right here. Uh, there's some fellows over there. Somebody, you, you start there, M Mike. My name is Mike Baker, and my great, great, great grandfather was a baker in a small Irish village. Interesting, yeah. That's how it works. Uh -huh. All right, and you? My name is Jack Farmer, and I am the direct descendant of the 19th century Scottish dairy farmers. See? That's how that works. That's interesting. Baker, farmer, uh -huh. letterman, it makes perfect sense. sense. Yeah, finally. My name is Rick, still a virgin at the age of 43. <laughs> I'm also the direct descendant of the 19th century Scottish dairy farmers. Okay. Thanks, boys. Nice job. See? Shows, shows educational. There they are. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> That's how that works. So every name means something. Not every name, but most most names. <laughs> are they going to leave, or is there more? Did I? They don't know what to do. Now. I don't know what else. Did I? Get them out of here. Uh, letter number two. Dear Dave, I recently went on a camping trip and came home with poison ivy. Any tips? Uh, thanks, uh, David Reagan's Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, it's interesting. I, I myself have never had uh, poison ivy. No. I, can, I can roll in it. I can rub it on me. For some reason, I have an immunity to poison ivy. And, you know, thank God, because I could be dead now. <laughs> but uh, uh, one of our stagehands, uh, Pat Farmer, has some advice. Where is Pat? He put together a video. Pat Farmer, look at this, about uh, what to do if you have the poison ivy. Roll it. To treat a case of poison ivy, just follow these three steps. Step one, thoroughly clean the infected area with soap and water. Step two, liberally apply calamine lotion. Step three, scratch. Scratch like crazy. <laughs> Use a butter knife. Use hedge clippers. Get a friend to help you. Help. Use an electric sander. The point is, keep scratching and don't stop until all the itching has gone away. Stick with these three steps, and in no time at all, you'll be feeling just fine. <laughs> Pat, Pat Farmer descended from farmers, I'll bet. Probably, yeah. Everything. He could have been. He could have been in both of them letters. The first. That's right. He should have been in the first one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Uh, dear Dave, have you ever thought of opening a theme restaurant at Denise Higgins, Virginia Beach, Virginia? Yeah, we uh, not only thought about it. We uh, you, did, were you in on this with me? No, I, I didn't yeah, do this. Yeah, I went on this, uh, but I asked you, but you didn't want to get it. Not this time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We did. We had a we had a theme restaurant a couple of years ago when you know everybody was getting in on them. Yeah. There was you know the, the Planet Hollywood, and then there was the, the Hard Rock Cafe, and then there was the the the, the uh, Motown, sure, yeah. and then the you know like Hooters and that kind of stuff. That, was, yeah, well, everybody that. had like a restaurant, and I thought, well, you know, I'm I'm crazy because they're a license to print money. You get one of them theme restaurants. Theme restaurant. So we, gosh, remember you don't weren't there. Yeah, I remember. I wasn't in on it. Yeah, I wasn't. You, but I remember. That long, no, but yeah. I remember. Okay, it well. here it is. Well, hello, ladies. Welcome to the restaurant. Look, everybody, customers. You see? That's what happened. Okay. 
Letter number four, Dave, do you ever feel like uh, blowing things up? Uh, Val Ning. Hong Kong. Kong. Val, Valing, Valing is how it is. Yeah. Valing, oh. yeah, yeah, from, from uh, Hong Kong. Uh, you know, uh, if, I think what you're getting out here is the time of year for fireworks, and tonight, uh, because it is the 4th of July, we did uh, plan something special, uh, pyrotechnically speaking. Ah. Biff Henderson is in charge. Is Biff around or there? Oh, hi, Biff. How are you? How are you doing, Dave? All right. Happy Fourth of July, Biff. You have. You're going to do something. You're going to do something special for us for the Fourth of July. Yes, Dave. I'm ready. Okay, take it away, Biff Henderson. There he goes. We're going to see something now. Genetic roadmap. Thanks, Biff. Biff Henderson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Biff. Thanks, Biff. I think my favorite part of that little piece, and maybe the whole night, we'll see how things go, was when the fuse burned up the pant leg of the dummy. Uh, Did you that was like your that? your favorite part? Yeah, that was my uh -huh. favorite part. I wonder if we can see that again. Inadvertently, I had my hands in the wrong place. Yeah, that, there it is. There. Oh, my God. There, he's going to burn right up the pant leg of that dummy. 